Dr. Biasan, State Premier of the region of Saarland in Western Germany. Germany has now gone beyond the one million infected people corona infected people. You were part of the negotiations with Angela Merkel and the other regional leaders where you discussed, extended and intensified the existing corona measures just this week. Some people are already saying they're not hard enough. Are they right? I don't think so. The, the thing is that we tried hard to stay ahead of the curve from the beginning of the pandemic. And I'm sure that we can flatten the curve with the measures we have now taken. And our goal is that from December the 23rd on, we can lift those measures, those restrictions, because we want the people to have a family Christmas even this year. Okay, but what if that leads to another third wave potentially? I mean, how do you, how do you foresee that? The goal is to bring the numbers down before December the 23rd. And we're also offering the people extended testing capacities so they can test themselves if they're showing symptoms of COVID. And that makes me very optimistic then that we can handle that before December the 23rd. And compared to other countries in Europe and in the world, I mean, we're still seeing all time highs here in Germany but the numbers are lower than in other countries and that makes me very optimistic we can handle it. So you're a regular member of the meetings between Angela Merkel and the other regional leaders. You've been there from the start as you're the state leader of uh, Saarland. How has the mood changed in those meetings over the last few months? It has changed a lot from the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I remember that when we came into this pandemic, my federal state of Saarland was hit hard by COVID because of our border situation to France, which was also hit hard. And it has changed now because in the beginning of the pandemic, the states in the eastern parts of Germany were not that concerned about COVID in that time. And that has changed now as Germany well, has a high rate of COVID patients now over all federal states and the situation in hospitals across Germany has changed a lot to the worse. And this has changed the mood, definitely. So you've been a close observer of Angela Merkel over the last few months as well. You've seen her act in a crisis. Her era is going to come to an end next year with the federal elections. She's not going to run again. That's what she's announced already. What are you going to miss? Well, Angela Merkel is a great leader and she's experienced, but she's still head of many others in our country. And I think she has preserved her capability of discussing things. That's, that is something very rarely found among world leaders that have been in office for such a long time. And I really appreciate that capability of hers and I will miss that. And as a last question, um, a private question, which is also a political one this year, how are you going to spend Christmas? We will have a very private family Christmas this year. My wife and I were expecting our third child and we're looking forward to that. And my, my utmost goal is to keep the family safe and that is why we won't meet up with too many people. And I really suggest that to all the others. Keep it safe, keep it private. That will help us to flatten the curve. Tobias Hans, regional leader of Saarland, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.